Hello, my name is Nadia and this is my journey through code. Well, I'm Nadia Noor. I'm a junior here at Georgia State University. Um, I'm a computer science major and I hope to become like a software engineer or software developer or something along those lines. Um, I currently have an internship at Anthem as a Java developer and it's my first internship so it's really exciting. Mm -hmm. And I'm also the program chair, I guess now secretary of Girls Plus Plus, which is an organization on campus that tries to like build a network of women um, in different STEM fields, but like specifically computer science. Oh, okay. That's pretty awesome. Um, so how did your journey, I guess, start like in computer science? Um, I guess I used to always see computers and things like that at home. My dad would always work on um, kind of different computer projects and I, that got me interested, but originally I was not planning on being like a software developer or anything. I wanted to be like a doctor. Mm -hmm. And then I took a medical class at school and it just wasn't for me. And I decided to take, a, I think it was like a web programming type of class. And then I was like, yeah, this could be something that I decide to do. And then I picked it as my major. Oh my gosh, it has been like three years since then. Yeah, it has. <laughs> oh, okay. So like, um, I guess it's starting in high school, you said you started with a web programming class. Maybe yeah. Maybe you tell us more about that? Yeah, so the class was kind of supposed to be like an intro into digital technology class, but the things that they were working on was kind of more simple. So my teacher was like, you know, I'm going to try to challenge you and give you what the next class would be taking, which is they would start doing web development. So he gave that to me to try and I really liked web. Mm -hmm. I mean, we only did like a basic HTML, but I still thought that, yeah, this is like my intro into coding, even though now looking back, I'm like, coding is so much more than just, you know, making a website. Oh, okay, okay. Um, I'm curious to find out, um, I guess within like these past three years, how's your journey as like a woman of color in um, computer science been? Well, just, and in general, being a girl, there aren't many girls in my computer science classes where well, there kind of was starting out. Like in our first class, we had a whole bunch of girls. And being a woman of color, I was probably one of the few. And now as you get like through your classes and it starts getting more advanced, it becomes less and less. I think now I'm like maybe one of two or three women of color in my classes, which can kind of make it hard to like relate or try to like talk to people. Yeah. yeah. Why do you think, um, like, I guess you said you started with a lot more women, mm -hmm. and then now as you're going through, like, these numbers have been dwindling and dwindling as you go yeah. in your other classes. Why do you think that's happening? Or, like, what's the cause of that? Um, maybe it could be, like, the lack of role models or people to look up to who also mm -hmm. do the same thing. So maybe they don't know anyone who's in the field that could kind of like guide them or help them out. Yeah. So they don't see themselves being in that profession. So maybe they switch. Okay, okay. So you also like talk about role models. I'm curious to find out like who are like some of your role models that have helped, I guess, guide you through like this journey? Uh, I would say you are one of my role models actually. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> because um, I don't know many people who are doing what I do. So like, he, if I can find another student who's like also doing the same thing as me, it can, it can help me out and know where I'm supposed to look. Mm -hmm. And also like advisors at school, they also are really helpful. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Um, so I guess, what are like some of, I know you've done research. Yes. Um, do you want to like talk more about some of the research that you were doing and like, what did you like about it? Like just tell us more about that. Okay, so yes, this past semester I did research in the computer science department with, it was kind of under the field of like bioinformatics and immunology, so not like solely computer science, it had like biology elements mixed into it. Yeah. So I was working on a project where the main focus was, I guess, biology, but then you needed coding to help get that research done. Okay. So we were kind of working on like trying to figure out if we had a certain virus mm -hmm. and if we could tell if whether two people who were infected by that virus were from the same strain of that virus or if oh. they were from different strains by like examining their DNA sequences. Oh wow, that's pretty interesting. Um, and I guess when comparing like your experience that you've had um, doing research and then not mm -hmm. comparing that to I guess being more of like a corporate environment like with your internship now, um, are there like any differences or like what's similar? If anybody's essentially, I think 
thinking or wondering like okay what like was research and then like was mm-hmm. like going straight into the field how would you sort of like explain that to them well at least for my experience the research was more of a by yourself kind of thing so the, I got the project and even though I did have people to ask for help it was kind of a by yourself project you would have to do the project mostly on your own and when you're like I guess in the corporate world it's not really a by yourself thing it's like always groups yeah, yeah. so there's going to be someone who's working on the same thing as you and can help you out because they kind of understand whereas in this research sense Mm-hmm. Even though you guys could be working on a similar project, maybe they can't help you as much. Or maybe you're discovering something new that's never been done, so there's not much help to be, you know, given. Okay, okay. That's really interesting. Um, what did I guess, uh, like, maybe if you were to think back about, like, maybe, like, one of your favorite projects that you've worked on, mm-hmm. what would that be? And, like, yeah, just, I guess, tell us more about that. Okay, so my favorite project I worked on would be like in my software engineering class, Mm -hmm. Um, me and my group created a calendar application. And I know you're thinking like calendar, that's so simple. But to me, that was a lot. It took all semester to do it. We had like we were adding different elements. We use like web APIs, which that was my first time dealing with that. We had like Java GUI and we had SQL. And it was just like being able to combine all these different things and also like um, using Amazon Web Services for the first time. Like, being able to combine all those things together and make a project that was, like, fully functioning, that was really exciting. Oh, my gosh, that's pretty interesting. Um, yeah. Sounds pretty cool. Um, I'm curious also to find out, because I see with a lot of the work that you do, you mm-hmm. like, starting off, you started off, like, more as, like, a front-end developer, mm-hmm. and there's been, like, a lot of, like, web applications of a lot of, um, like, the work that you've been doing, too. Mm-hmm. Are you, when you think about, like, plans for graduation or looking at, like, starting off as a software engineer, mm-hmm. Do you think, um, like, are you more inclined to, I guess, to be, like, more of, like, a front-end developer, like, mm-hmm. back-end, or do you prefer one over the other? Right now, I'm still trying to get a feel of what exactly I would be doing as a front-end and what exactly I'd be doing as a back-end, so I don't have a specific preference. Like, I'm willing to try, but I know as I continue taking more classes and getting more hands-on experience, like, I'll definitely know by graduation whether I want to be front-end or back-end. Okay, okay. So I guess like for anyone watching and also trying to figure that out, because I know that's something that took a while for me to sort of figure out like which direction do I want to go, mm-hmm. what would you say the best way to like making some of these decisions would be? Um, if you're able to take a class, mm-hmm. yeah, take a class and see if you like that. But if you aren't, then just try it. Yeah. And if it's something that you enjoy, then maybe that's something you want to lean into. So that's what I would say it would be like the best advice I could give, even though I haven't decided for myself yet, but yeah. yeah. We're just trying. Yeah. That's pretty cool. And then um, I'm also curious to find out about um, some of like the organizations you're involved in. I know you've also been um, volunteering with like um, Black Girls Code and then some of the work with like Girls Plus Plus. Um, I'd love to like find out more about that and I guess like why do you see a need and like putting your time into that? What is that should be rephrased? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, with Girls Plus Plus, that was an organization that was kind of starting out. So I thought, man, it'd be really cool to get in on this organization while it was still small and like be able to see it grow into something big and then leave that for other um, people after I leave. Yeah. So I thought that that was an interesting organization out of like all the ones that are on campus because... I didn't know many other girls in my field. So I was like, man, if I join this club, it's a way for me to make friends and be able to meet people. And then it turned into much more than like, I was able to network with different companies through the organization and like meet a whole bunch of people that I get to see in my classes and like ask them for things if I need help. And it helped me be able to just see myself in other people, you know, mm-hmm. like very similar people to me. Oh, okay. I get you with that. And then, um, also curious to find out, like, I guess if anyone is watching right now mm-hmm. and they're saying, oh, my gosh, like, I'd really love to, you know, also start my journey to, but, like, I don't know where to start or maybe I need some advice or anything. So what advice would you give them as, like, you're now that role model for some people watching? Wow. Um, <laughs> I would say the best way, if you don't know where to start, is just... Pick something and do it because that was also my thing because I was thinking man like even though I had taken the web development kind of class I only did like very little of it so like I was thinking well I know I want to major in this in college like should I start should I wait but the best thing is to just start like pick something and do it and then maybe that'll lead you into something else because 
starting is probably the hardest part. Mm -hmm. 